Righty ho, we are on the move. We've just stopped off to refuel the van and pick up a couple of snacks, but we're on our way to family camp. Anyway, going to Weymouth, we go every year. I think this is like our eighth year in a row or something. It's kind of like just like a big family thing that we do. Last year, we only went for three nights, I think. Whereas this year, I think we're doing five nights or four nights, maybe four nights. It did rain for most of the day yesterday. Um, there were a couple of dry spells, but because of the rain, we didn't really do anything. We took Digby out for a walk. Um, and then, yeah, I spent the rest of the day at the campsite playing cards and stuff. So I didn't make a video yesterday, but you didn't really miss out on anything. Um, and it gave me a chance to catch up on editing and uploading videos. We've got an hour and a half's drive to Weymouth from Salisbury. Traffic's good so far. Hopefully it'll be quite a straightforward drive. Um, and we'll see you guys when we get there. <laughs> there's a bin lorry just in front of us and it absolutely hums and there's like bin juice like dripping all over the road it smells so bad ah. we just like stopped to give way to someone coming the other way to try and get away from it and we've caught up with it again it just smells like hot smelly bins <laughs> so we've arrived with the first people here which i think is the first time ever we've got full pick of our area that we're going on so we've got these two pods here to my right and then the tents are going over this area here. So we said that we can just kind of like pick where we want to go. And we're trying to think about how we're going to have the van because it's a slight hill. But we're going to play around with it anyway, figure out where we're going to go. Um, and yeah, first one's on the campsite. So where we've got the van parked, we're on quite a steep slope. So I've had to quickly run up to a camping shop up the road to get a couple of ramps to go underneath the front wheels because at the moment we're kind of like that and if we try and sleep like that we're just going to fall out of bed so a couple of ramps under the wheels and hopefully we'll get it level um, but yeah hopefully they have some in stock anyway. Alright, change of plan. We've spun the van around because the wind's coming down the hill and it was basically blowing our awning out of the rail. We figured we'd rather do it now than potentially do it later on or tomorrow or something. Um, but yeah, spun the van around um, and I think it works a lot better. The swing ball championships have officially begun and it's Olympic week as well. They should definitely have swing ball at the Olympics for sure. So this is like our little tenting area here. We've got my mum's tent on the right over here. And then we have like a big kitchen area in the middle. I've got no idea how close my hand is to um, everything I'm pointing at. I don't know if I'd be a good weatherman or not, but this is like the main kitchen area. And then we've got my stepbrother and his wife's tent on the end and then our van is at the back of the car over there and then we've also got these two like pod things one there and then one there my sister's in that one and my grandmother's in that one over there and then this this is joss's tent that he's decided that he wants to sleep in on the camping trip i don't know whether he's going to sleep in it every night um he might just do like one or two i don't really know but he's going to stay in it on his own anyway um, this used to be my tent when I was a kid, but it's just like a little two-man tent thing. But he's got it all set up in there, nice and cosy. I used to go camping in this tent with one of my friends, probably when I was Joss's age, maybe a little bit older. 
Um, it would be quite good fun for Joss to bring a friend camping with him, but maybe next year we'll do that. So in good family camp fashion, we've decided to come crabbing at the harbour. I've got a feeling we're going to get sunburned because it's kind of like, it's that kind of weather where you don't really think you're going to get burned, but you do. So I'm wearing shorts and I think I might get burnt legs. I have got a sun hat though, so at least my face will be fine. Digby was getting a bit stressed out down in the harbour. There was a lot of people down there, there was a lot of dogs, there was a lot of barking. Um, the ham that we were using to catch the crabs, Digby wanted to eat all of that. Um, so yeah, he was getting a little bit stressed out, a bit too hot. So we decided to come for a little bit of a walk. There's like a fort on the top of the hill, which we've come to. It's called Noth Fort. Um, I don't really know much more about it than that, but there's a fort on the hill. I was just saying to Becky that this bit along here, um, where that wall is, that's where we went mackerel fishing last year. We didn't actually have a rod, it was just like a string with a hook on the end. So it wasn't quite the same. But I think the ones with the rods, you have to go a lot deeper out into the sea. And Joss has said specifically that he doesn't want to go out to sea so far that he can't see land. Because I think he'd be okay. He doesn't like that. Well, I, think he'd be okay. I guess that's understandable. But yeah, I don't know. So I don't know if we're gonna go fishing or not. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. I don't know about boxes, isn't it? So since the pandemic hit last year, a lot of the cruise ships just haven't been able to run because um, obviously no one can like go on them. So they've been anchored in Weymouth Harbour now. Well, not all of them, obviously, but some of them have been <laughs> anchored in Weymouth Harbour. All of the cruise ships in the world have been anchored in Weymouth. Um, but yeah, they've been anchored here for well over a year now because they were there when we came away last year. So probably about a year and a half now. Apparently you can go on a boat and just go and basically drive around the cruise ships and like have a look at them close up, um, which I guess would be kind of fun. So maybe that's something else we could do, just go and have a look at some cruise ships. Um, there's also a guy here fishing for something. I don't know what he's fishing, he's dropping boxes in. So perhaps he's trying to get like crabs or something. I don't know. Ooh. Have they put salt on the chips, do you know? Yeah. For the next two days, we've got people coming in doing food. So today's burgers, tomorrow's pizzas. So I've decided to go for the classic beef burger, which has a beef burger. Um, some sort of pickle. What else do they have in it? I don't know. Yeah, just some relish. Just like a standard burger, really. I think it's probably quite a good one, though. For £9. Well, £8.50, wasn't it? And then some chips as well. It's good that they did chips, because I remember last year we didn't have chips. And you felt like still hungry after eating the burger. I mean, I've just spent loads of money on a burger. I'm still hungry. And then Joss is having plain pasta. Yeah, because I don't like burgers. <laughs> Trying to capture the sunset in the background over there. Although it's quite difficult. It looks quite nice in person anyway. I thought I'd wrap up the video now before it gets too dark, but we're just playing cards on the table, having a couple of drinks, um, just enjoying the evening really. Tomorrow morning, I think we're going on a dog walk in the morning. And then apparently there's a milkshake vending machine or something up the road from here. I'm not really too sure what it is, but apparently it's just like a vending machine on a dairy farm. And you just put a container underneath and you just get dispensed milkshake or something like that. I feel like it's gonna be a bit anticlimactic because I'm expecting it to be like a whole like show, 
but apparently it's literally just a vending machine. But we're going to do that anyway. Um, so dog walk, vending machine, and then I don't really know what we're going to do for the rest of the week. We thought about going fishing, but I think that's all fully booked, so I don't think we can really do that. But other than that, I don't really know, just kind of play it by ear, I suppose. But I really hope you enjoyed the first couple of days of family camp. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and we'll catch you guys in the next video. So until then, safe drive, stay alive, have a lovely day, and happy camping. Mm -hmm.